Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, the entire fraternity over here, and dear colleagues. Myself, Dr. Shagufta Khan, welcome you all to the second slot of AICT sponsored faculty development program on outcome based pedagogical methods for effective teaching, learning, and accreditation after successfully completing the first slot. I must express my deep sense of appreciation to the chairman and principal, Dr. Aro Ganjiwale, and convener, Dr. M. P. Puranik, and the entire team of the Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research for their overwhelming dedication in successfully conducting the first law. And I must also thank all the participants for making that event wonderful. I hope for the similar level of motivation, enthusiasm, and dedication by all of us during this slot of STTP. Over the next few days, you all will get an opportunity to have fruitful exchange of knowledge with some of very accomplished educationists. Dear participants, it's our fortune and privilege to have with us today a distinguished educationist, an established educationist who is known to bring innovation in the field of pharmaceutical education. And he is none other than Dr. Mahesh Burande. I am thankful to Dr. Mahesh Burande having accepted the invitation of the Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research. So Dr. Mahesh Burande has over 36 years of rich experience in pharmacy profession as pharma academician, consultant, and trainer. He has worked as a pharmaceutical consultant across the globe for more than 100 pharmaceutical companies on different fronts and is the most popular uh, trainer for marketing GMP, GCP, GPP, and positive attitude programs. And you will glad to know that he has conducted more than 1000 training programs. He has developed innovative GMP quality, productivity and positive attitude displays useful for WHO, GMP, ISO 9000, MHRA, MCC, TGA, US FDA certification program. Dr. Burande is a director par excellence and under his honorary directorship, Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research Pune, a pioneer pharma management institute conducts 23 comprehensive job oriented pharmaceutical management diplomas and postgraduate diploma in pharmaceutical marketing, which are highly recognized by pharma industries and profession. Asia Pharma Leaders awarded IPER Pune India's most promising pharmaceutical education and consulting institution at the fifth, fifth annual pharmaceutical leadership summit and business leadership award on 21st September, 2012. Dear participants, you will be glad to know that 
DA, Dr. Mahesh Burande has served on almost all the apex bodies of pharmaceutical education in India as well as abroad. He has served as Vice President, Association of Pharmaceutical Teachers of India, Secretary and President, Indian Pharmaceutical Association, Pune branch. He worked as Organizing Secretary or uh, he worked as organizing uh, secretary um, for, for 54th Indian Pharmaceutical Congress Pune during 2002, which has created all record, records in uh, history of Pharmaceutical Congress. He also worked as chief financial officer for 59th Indian Pharmaceutical Congress held at Varanasi in 2007 and organized first time in history by Association of Pharmaceutical Teachers of India during 19. Uh, he is the recipient of Best Young Pharmacy Teacher Award from Association of Pharmaceutical Teachers of India 1997-98. He has several awards to his credit the Indian Pharmaceutical Association Fellowship Award 2002, Drug Inspectors Welfare Association Award as a Doyen of Pharmacy Profession 2002, Lifetime Achievement Award from Purely Chemist Forum KM Kundanani College of Pharmacy, Maharashtra Pharmacist Association Award 2009 for promoting pharmacy profession in the society under his secretaryship Indian Pharmaceutical Association Pune branch received a special commendation award 2003 from Indian Pharmaceutical Association at 55th Indian Pharmaceutical Congress Chennai. He is also the recipient of prestigious IAPST pharmaceutical technologist he served as chairman and vice president of community pharmacy division of the Indian Pharmaceutical Association for 2004 to 2006 and led the foundation of profession through good pharmacy practice in India. He has been appointed by Maharashtra government, Directorate of Technical Education and Maharashtra State Board of Technical Education to promote pharmacy profession for 12th standard students and parents. Dr. Burande is the advisor for MITCON Institute of Management conducting AICTE approved two years postgraduate program in pharmaceutical management. He has been appointed as chairman for pharmacy course by MSBT Mumbai to build quality in pharmaceutical education. Centaur Pharmaceuticals Private Limited appointed him as a consulting scientist to benefit research students and the company in strengthening their research program. Dr. Burande is currently working as Director, Skill Development and Professor at Rasiklal Manik Chand, Dariwal Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research. And he served also as President of Association of Pharmaceutical Teachers of India from 2013 to 2016. So Dr. Burande, is taking all the efforts, is striving hard to promote stronger pharma academics and industry interactions. And in that direction, he started Pharmacy Cup, that is cricket for interaction, public testing laboratory and manufacturing unit attached to Pune College of Pharmacy, first of it is its kind in history of Indian pharmaceutical education to develop the skill in pharmacy students. He, his training programs are igniting the minds of participants, building their positive attitude, understand the meaning of life and making them mission oriented to achieve 
personal, organizational, and national goals. He is working for a dream of His Excellency, late Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, ex-president of India. That is, India should be pharma superpower 2020. So dear participants today, we are indeed elated to have with us Dr. Mahesh Burande with uh, today with us, Dr. Mahesh Burande. And dear participants, I request you all to join me welcome Dr. Mahesh Burande. Dr. Mahesh Burande to share his views and experience on effective teaching learning methods through skill development. Uh, thank you, Shagupta. Uh, whatever actually you have brief about my biodata, today I consider that that is the past. And the future is what I can contribute. And that is the biodata, I think, which the world is looking for and the world is looking for the contribution. I remember in 2000, I also came to IPR Varda, where my friend Dr. Pramod Yavle was leading as a principal of IPR Varda. And I also underwent the STTP program for the skill development. And after completing that program, I got the post of associate professor, which was the requirement of AICT as well as the Pharmacy Council of India. And today, after 20 years, you have called me for IPR Varda to actually give my speech on the skill development, especially effective teaching learning methods. So it's a great achievement. This is the biggest achievement for me, rather than what you spoke about my biodata and the contribution. So friends, uh, just uh, let me share my PPT. Before that, I congratulate Dr. Ganjiwale, the leading principal at present of IPR Varda, and uh, Dr. Puranik uh, for actually initiating this activity, even during this COVID-19 period, which is the challenging period for all of us, uh, to contribute for the teachers through the skill development. And uh, you know, all we pharmacists are really contributing in a big way during this situation, uh, whether it is R&D pharmacists who wanted to contribute for the development of vaccine, whether it is a community pharmacist who is working in the retail drug store or maybe a hospital pharmacist, all of them are involved in giving the best service. So the people who are working during this pandemic 19, the lockdown is over and there is a, again, fear that another lockdown may come. Uh, but during this, whether it is a lockdown or whether the lockdown is over, the pharmacists are contributing. And even the teaching profession is contributing on this line. We are conducting the programs through the online regular teaching we are conducting. Even many colleges are conducting the virtual practicals also. I know that it's very difficult to conduct the practical, but some of the skills which you can see also and then actually start imagining and actually start implementing it. So today's aspect of my program, especially effective teaching learning, uh, some of you can actually demonstrate in front of your student later taking the concept from this program. And that's why the congratulation to Dr. Ganjiwale, Dr. Manisha Puranik, as well as uh, Dr. Shagupta Khan for taking this leadership and actually inviting all of you uh, uh, for this program. I know many of us need that certificate for the actually contribution further to get the higher hierarchies in the pharmacy education. But I always considered such type of certificate for the enhancing my skill. And whatever the skill which I have generated, I think the contribution of this HTTP program, uh, right from the era of Government College of Pharmacy Karad or College of Pharmaceutical Sciences Manipal, where I attended many programs. And uh, also after that, uh, delivered many programs. So that is the unique aspect which you can develop in your personality to contribute in the big way. Let me share the screen so that we can start.
Can you see my PPT? Hello? Yes, sir. You can see my PPT? Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, but... Uh, Oh, I'm not getting on my actually screen. Sir, stop sharing one and then again you can share. So we get start. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, now you are getting? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Then we can proceed. Thank you. Okay, the topic which has been uh, suggested by me also and given to me also, that is effective teaching learning methods through skill development. As all of you know that the skill is most important. And even we are working as a teachers, we are working as a professor, the teaching skill is also the most important so that many concepts which we can deliver to the student. And according to me, if you deliver certain concepts through your regular lectures, I think that concept, the student will always remember. And he will start applying that concept whenever he will choose any job in the pharmacy profession. And that is the skill which we are looking for from teachers to contribute to develop the competent and complete pharmacists who can serve the nation by building the health. And for that, all of you will agree with me that uh, the change is mandatory for extraordinary result. That means we have to change. Change is the only stability in the life. And you know, those who change as per the situation, as per the demand, as per the rules and regulations, even in pharma, these pharmaceutical companies and the products have survived and contributed in a big way. Take the example of COVID-19 itself. How many pharmaceutical companies have adopted this change as far as the good manufacturing practices are considered? In many pharmaceutical industries where the GMP is not implemented, I think the spread of the COVID-19 happened in a big way and they have to close down their plant. So this change, whatever is the requirement, is we have to adopt it. Now take the example of online education. I think we have to adopt for this change at a teacher so that we can deliver the online lectures as well as the virtual practical classrooms. And those who are reluctant to go for this, I think they will be left behind in that case. And that's why develop this skill again as far as the online teaching is considered in the most effective way. It is not just only the PowerPoint presentation, my friend. How you make the slide, how you make the actually the concept which is very effective through your PowerPoint presentation, which actually uh, video you can demonstrate which will be relevant to your topic. All these are the skills in fact today. And that's why for that, the change is mandatory. And you will find that to convert actually the stone to the diamond, continuous actually happenings takes place. And that's why a lot of hard work is also most important. Those who wanted to develop the student from a rock to the diamond aspect. And diamond means a successful student, according to me. While the stone means a raw student when he entered in the pharmacy college. And when you develop him after four years or maybe six years, or maybe after two years, if it is a diploma, you are providing the diamond to the pharmaceutical sciences or the pharmaceutical profession. With that concept, if you have actually taken pharmacy teaching to your heart, I think you are the biggest contributor in that case. One day, I think the Padma Shri will be also awarded. for you. Uh, friends, the art of teaching, when we classify, or when we learn, there are many aspects the teaching can be done. And many of us are delivering the lecture. Now, but how many of us are really evaluated in your customer, maybe the student, that how much learning takes place, how much understanding takes place. Then the statistics has been explained 
that if you delivered any lecture the absorbance is 5% only that means only 5% of that knowledge is absorbed by the student it's very less but that is the statistics aspect when the teachers are evaluated on the world basis with certain parameters then another aspect sometimes if you start reading and delivering the lecture that means some beautiful concept if you can read out whatever came in the newspaper regarding the covid 19 and then deliver the lecture on that the absorbency or maybe the acceptance in the student as far as the knowledge is considered reached to the 10% level now some of the video which you have shown i am going to show you some video today so some of the video if you show along with delivering the lecture as well as giving a uh, reading aspect or maybe involving the student to read during the class and then asking them some questions and put some video the percentage will go to 20% and then later it will be a demonstration aspect where the practicals are involved you demonstrate yourself what you can demonstrate for example the hardness test of a tablet which i am going to show you later the hardness test if you actually give them the sop standard operating procedure they will read it they will understand it but you, when you will do it in front of them how the hardness is measured i think they will always remember and they can start practicing this skill even in the pharmaceutical industry if you are doing the analysis when you are allowing them to work on the hplc i think they will always remember that skill and that's why the demonstration aspect is also most important and later it will be the discussion then you can involve the students with the discussion give them some topic or maybe the relevant topic of your lecture and asking them to discuss their views ask them to read first in that case and ask them to actually discuss many thing 50% the students will accept that concept what lecture you are conducting and then 75% the people always say doing themselves that means you allow them to do that is also important if you are not allowing them to do in that case the problem will be there in many pharmacy colleges we have seen that the instrument is very good but instrument has not started at all at any time because nobody is there to demonstrate them how this instrument is working and that's why doing it yourself first and then asking them to do it that is the most important aspect in the development of the skill and i think this is the art of the teaching and then later concept you know it was there in earlier period also one to one counseling one to one discussion that what he understood what is lacking and what he can do and that is the counseling that's why the coaches are required our objective is not only to become a teacher but also to become a coach also to become a mentor in that case in the pharmacy profession to develop the competent and complete pharmacies if this is the approach for every lecture or whatever you do i think lot of competent and complete pharmacies which we are going to provide to the pharmacy world and then the industry people will be very happy whenever we discuss with the industry people many times they are telling us that the he is a, he has completed the bpharm but the simple basic skills which we are looking for from a bpharm student many times they are unable to demonstrate and that is the actually opinion many of them maybe 50% of the students are like that i am not talking that every student is like that but our approach to convert each and every student in my class to that level and that is teaching and that is actually the successful mantra to contribute to the pharmacy profession what i learned from my experience now come to the some statistics of the pharma then we can go to the skill development i think the population all of you know very well that we are number 2 as far as the position is considered number 1 is china is leading at present with the population also and with the technology also which all of us should agree in that case but we are number 2 as far as the population but the technology aspect i think we are lacking behind in many aspect maybe some of the aspects which we are ahead in pharma definitely we are better because we are having a number 3 position in the world but when we are looking for the population and the technology aspect the simple example many time i give that china how many gold olympic gold medals the china win and how many gold medal the india win as far as the sports skill are considered we are lagging behind in that case and that's why we say that if the quantity is matched with the quality becoming super power will not be a problem but one important statistics which i wanted to tell you from here which is related to the pharmacy profession is if you look actually 2099 the china's population is likely to be controlled to 110 crore that means going to reduce from 143 crore to 110 crore 
while india is going to move ahead and going to become a superpower in the population with 150 crore whatever the methods the china is adopted through the family planning i think they are going to implement that to control that actually quantity to the quality but as far as we are considered we are going for the quantity and that's why many times we have to think as far as our healthcare programs are considered family planning program is also including in that that we have to do something with the skill development on that line and control our actually the quality as well as the quantity in that case and uh, when we see the average age today why population is important for the pharmaceutical industry see the advantage here the advantage is for india because the population is more and when population is more number of actually healthcare practices will be more the drug consumption will be more drug requirement will be more and that's why i think the growth of the pharmaceutical profession will be always more that means the healthcare profession is leading at present along with the it profession as well as the biotechnology profession and the average life life 69.4 year which is given recently in 2023 uh, that is a good achievement for india when we became the independent our average life was just actually 37 year people were dying because antibiotics were not manufactured in india and there was actually the opportunity which came from the government side where hindustan antibiotics in pune is set up later karnataka antibiotic is set up goa antibiotics is set up nagpur also we have the maharashtra antibiotics which has set up so again the indian companies also started manufacturing the antibiotics which are saving the life and now we have really contributed by producing the quality medicines especially the antibiotics during that region which was the challenge during that time it was a challenge today it is a viral challenge of covid 19 so it is a continuous activity which is going on through the pharmaceutical industry and today we are really proud that from 37 years we have shifted to 69.4 year it's a good achievement because if you go for the world average it is 72 years that means we are going along with the world in that case contributing for the average life and giving the life to the people but look who is the standard in that you know we have the standards for every aspect whether it is a process whether it is a product in the pharmaceutical industry here also we have the standard as far as the average life is considered and that is japan and japan standard is almost 83 years in 2020 70 years the japan has achieved in 1970 can you imagine that is the actually the quality of life which the japanese persons are enjoying and that's why we have the mission in front of us as a pharmacist supporting doctors as well as the nurses and the healthcare profession that can we shift that 69.4 year that means 70 years to 83 years in next 5 years who is going to contribute definitely the pharmaceutical sector has to contribute in a big way and one of the parameter at present which is going on in coming out with a vaccine i am from pune serum institute of india is actually striving and continuously putting the efforts to come out the vaccine as early as possible including the bharat biotech including the jaidas cadilla panacea biotech there are many companies pfizer also already announced the prices people are talking today 500 rupees may be from serum while today pfizer is telling almost 2000 rupees to 2500 rupees quality and economy is also should be perfectly matched then the drug is actually affordable to each and every person so looking to this aspect i think the challenges are there in front of us to develop the skill even through the biotechnology aspect we have to develop certain skills which the biotech industry is looking for why serum institute of india is going for the advancement as far as all these things are considered the new plants are coming and they are looking for a pharmacist with all this skill to contribute in a big way so friends opportunities are in number only thing is that the skill development through the teachers in pharmacy students we are expecting in a big way and uh, when we are talking about the child death the rate india 2020 is one out of 1000 children that is that then also we have to reduce the mortality rate the state average age 2020 india is also given i think delhi although it's a most polluted at present people are shifting from delhi even political people are also shifting from delhi because there is a breathing problem at present but average age in delhi statistics shows that 75.3 year and come to the lowest it is chatisgarh 63.5 so when we are talking maharashtra it is 72.5 above the average as far as india is considered the maharashtra has contributed so congratulations to all the people in maharashtra 
especially contributing whatever the job you are doing at present but we have to reach to that goal of japan that is the main mission friends you must have heard this that there are 26000 pharmaceutical companies in india every day new five companies are starting and because of the covid 19 challenge many nutraceutical companies are starting more let me tell you every day five companies start but maybe every month five to 10 companies close down also because they are not professional they are not talking about the quality the skills are not titrated there and they are not bother many time the rules and regulations which are implemented and that's why average we say 26000 pharmaceutical companies are working in india and looking to the job opportunities n number every day we receive almost 5 to 10 advertisements from the pharmaceutical companies looking for the student with certain skill to take the opportunity in the leading pharmaceutical companies with a good pay scale which i can say but opportunities are there but they are also looking for the skill and that's why today i think whatever this sttp has organized teaching learning method to develop the skill will be important for you to develop the competent pharmacists we are third in the position as per the volume is considered because r and d is not that much that's why the patented molecules are not coming up in big way but you know once that covid 19 vaccine comes from india with the collaboration with you know oxford and other companies i think definitely the r and d will be boost up the clinical research will be boost up and once we have the patented atom i think even value wise which we are 14th at present we can shift to maybe in first five so this is the aspect which everybody should know that r and d is also important those who are actually undergoing the m farm actually education in their colleges the research and development developing such students for the research and development skill is also important in the future then only becoming the superpower is the possibility in that case friends for your information again you must be knowing this the domestic consumption of medicine in india is touching to 127000 crores that much medicine is consumed and it is likely to go to almost touching to 2 lakhs 20000 crores in next 2 to 3 years that means 1 lakh crore is the potential is available for next 2 to 3 years that means many entrepreneurs can come many expansion can happen with the pharmaceutical industries so that the recruitment will be there that's why we are talking on this aspect of the statistics but see the statistics today today i am really happy if you take the statistics again especially with the pharmaceutical companies 20% mncs are having that share in that 1 lakh 27 lakhs crore that means only 20% mncs during my time when i completed the bfa in 1980 all mncs were leading whether it was a graxo whether it was a pfizer whether it was a sandoz whether any pharmaceutical company you name park davis that time we were looking for a job in such pharmaceutical companies because these are the leading multinationals during that time but that time the indian pharmaceutical entrepreneur just started and today you see the picture totally change picture i can say after 40 years 80% of the indian companies are having the share in 1.27 lakh crores of domestic consumption we should be proud of that that the indian entrepreneurs are contributing tomorrow your students can be the entrepreneurs in that case that is also another skill which we should talk whenever we are taking certain classes and ai city is also actually promoting on that line that we should develop the entrepreneur so 80% indian companies today which we should be proud of patented medicines account for only 9% of the total market that means how much generics actually the uh, generics medicines are consumed by india is the best example in that case patented molecules only 9% in india that means that much is the demand for the generics not only in india but also in the us 60% of the market in usa is the generics in that case and that's why even contributing in the generics in the future exporting that will be the biggest opportunity for the pharmaceutical industries and many of our students tomorrow can be the entrepreneurs it's a matter of pride that every third tablet or every fourth capsule consume in the world is manufactured in india you go to the uk london if you go to any medical store and if you see the product of wakhart if you see the product of glenmark you will become very happy that these products are prescribed by the uk doctors in that case uk physicians which you should be proud of you go to the us again the same thing i think 60% of the world generics which we are exporting to the us and many time the us is also dependent on that as far as the product which is manufactured in india and again exported to the us 
because quality and economy is perfectly matched and that's why the skills are most important in our student sri mr of india we i wanted to give you the example the best example in that case and the way serum institute of india is leading at present is tremendous the turnover achieved of serum institute of india today is 5000 crore out of 5000 crore 90% that means 4500 crore is the export of serum institute of india what vaccines they are manufacturing and they are now making a very bold statement that out of five children three children in the world take the vaccine which is manufactured by serum institute of india and which is consumed by the world in that case and they wanted to go for that each and every student uh, every child in the world should consume the vaccine which is manufactured by serum institute of india likely to come out with the covid 19 actually vaccine which will be the breakthrough for the pharmaceutical industry in india with a collaboration with oxford so remember that the biotech is becoming a most important actually subject as well as the topic or maybe the area which we should focus as a teacher in the future to contribute for the skill development in our students take the highlights of the indian pharmaceutical industry as i said 60% of global vaccine production happened in india serum biocon kiran mujumdar leading in a big way in this area uk approximately 25% medicines used are made in india export of generics almost 24% per year for last four year suggests that we are the world leaders in exporting the generics cost of hiv aids drug actually we are supplying especially the example of supply in that case where the cost is reduced tremendously for quality and the economy to contribute to serve the humanity we should be proud of mr hamid imati dr hamid in that case who is leading cipla and he made the mission that hiv and aids drug whatever cipla is manufacturing it should be available at economic price and that's why the cost of treatment uh, us 400 per year is achieved from us dollar 12000 it was a cost of treatment which is reduced to 400 and the big contribution cipla has done in last 10 years us healthcare system has saved almost 2 trillion dollars in the generic that means that is the contribution and that's why yesterday only the question was asked to me by express pharma that what will be the situation with the current president biden biden and i think the current situation will remain the same because he is also looking for the quality and economy and that's why the export of the generic will be actually given uh, taken care by india as far as the us is considered even you know we have more than almost uh, touching to 1200 us fda plants approved for the manufacturing of the quality generics and you know whenever a us fda inspector comes lot of actually compliances which we have to make we were not actually familiar with that and earlier the compliances were more almost 15% was actually the target which is uh, which was there earlier in 2017 but since we are developing our people with the skills i think it is coming to 4% observation now from 15% observation of compliances we are coming to the 4% and likely to go to 1% or 2% in next 2 to 3 years because we are educating our people developing the skill on that line special efforts even as a ipr we are doing from pune to the pharmaceutical industries on that line so it's a continuous activity which we should be proud of so skill development not only for the pharma industry which i am talking today the same thing should happen even in the pharmacy colleges continuous training of the drug inspectors is happening which was not are happening earlier and we also got the opportunity as a ipr to actually conduct the training program for fdca gujarat officers almost 100 batch has been given to us for cgmp as well as the purity program which we conducted especially for the fda inspectors as well as the officers in gujarat in one year back so it's a continuous training when fda inspectors required the training for the development of the skill why not the pharmacy students in that case and that's why i think this is the right topic which has been chosen by ipr varda developing guidelines for data reliability investigation process validation and ipa ipa means indian pharmaceutical alliance here which is actually making familiar all these procedures to the pharmaceutical industries and contributing substantially so that we can contribute for the quality generics manufacturing friends all of you are teachers and you know that which pharmaceutical industries are leading at present the number one pharmaceutical industry which is leading is the sun pharma indian company then arbindo again indian company third is lopen 
फोर्थ इज सेफला फिफ्थ इज रेड्डीज सिक्स इज झायडस सेवेंथ इज इंटास देन ग्लेनमार्क एट ऑल इंडियन कंपनीज टोरेंट इंडियन कंपनी मैनकाइंड इंडियन कंपनी बायोकॉन किरण मुजुमदास इंडियन कंपनी पिरामल अगेन इंडियन कंपनी वखाड अगेन इंडियन कंपनी एंड डीवीज व्हिच इज अ एपीआई कंपनी व्हिच इज अ 14th कंपनी एंड एबर्ट इज अ मल्टीनेशनल कंपनी देन फर्स्ट 15 14 आर द इंडियन कंपनीज द टर्नओवर ऑफ सन फार्मा टुगेदर विद एक्सपोर्ट टचिंग टू 32000 करोड़ कैन यू एक्चुअली imagine what contribution the pharmaceutical companies are making to actually contribute for the health and the happiness of the people not only in india but even in the world which we should be proud of and that's why congratulations to you that you came to the pharmacy profession you came to the pharmaceutical teaching where you can develop the human product as a student to contribute for actually this pharmaceutical industry we always discuss many entrepreneurship program there are 15 programs which we have especially for the entrepreneurship in pharma giving opportunity to our student retail wholesale repackaging drug distribution manufacturing marketing manufacturing world drug cultivation of medicinal plant public testing laboratory because analysis is important today covid 19 the laboratories which we are uh, getting less the samples are more that time definitely if you come out with the laboratory it will contribute in big way uncertainty what i am doing pharmacy colleges number of pharmacy colleges started and still today the people are asking that we have to go to the pharmacy college many engineering colleges wanted to convert the engineering college to the pharmacy colleges now journalism and publication if you are good in that area trading because chemical supply glassware machineries are required allied business which you can do packaging industry contract research organization clinical research organization these are the entrepreneurship opportunities which are available to your student and as a teacher you should be familiar at least with one entrepreneurship opportunity what i mean to say so that you can pass on something to your student who can become the entrepreneur and job opportunities are plenty pharma industry as well as the professional jobs fda production research and development teaching which we are quality control quality assurance regulatory sales and marketing seven prime jobs which are available for you every day seven to 10 advertisements we are receiving for recruitment of the students on that line which are having a dedication and the skill and the attitude to contribute seven actually prime focus jobs which are available for the students but along with that it's a 360 degree profession healthcare is also included today in the pharma drug store in india drug store abroad pharmacies in hospital hospital clinical pharmacies abroad clinical research vigilance data management medical coding it companies are recruiting hundreds of students today in their it department medical insurance coming in a big way and pharma and medical animation these are the other healthcare opportunities which are available for the students job is not a problem and it is our role is to do the proper counseling to the student going for the strength and weakness analysis of each student suggesting him the best career suitable to his personality and his mission is our role teaching teaching only the pharmacy or maybe my subject is one of my job responsibility but the bigger responsibility which uh, i should have the bigger responsibility which i should have is to mentor the student to develop actually his liking towards certain actually aspect of the pharmacy profession and continuously mentoring him to achieve that mission will be my role if you develop 5 to 10 students like that in 5 years i think you are the biggest contributor to the indian pharmaceutical industry in that case and many times you know the students are asking us the packages these are the average packages since we are working as a consultant and trainer and this is the average pack production qc qa sales marketing bulk drug that is 12000 to 15000 one thing which we have to emphasize in the students mind that you will not get 25000 30000 50000 rupees the start all of you will never maybe some of you will get but average start which is given by the pharmaceutical companies 12000 to 15000 or maybe 15000 to 20000 if it is a bulk drug industry or sales and marketing and then with your experience and the performance performance is the only criteria in this world and performance comes through the skill development and that's why and the skill comes through the knowledge and that's why giving that knowledge applying that skill will be the role and responsibility of a teacher in that case after 5 years average this is the average 35000 to 70000 and after maybe 10 years it will go to 70000 to 10 lakhs rupees depending on what job you are doing and that's why money is a secondary product here 
we have seen actually the person who started with 1500 rupees maybe 30 years back and today he is having a salary almost touching to 7 crores per annum that means almost touching to 60 lakhs rupees per annum these are the examples in front of us which we should promote during our teaching in that case so that the inspiration student should get money is the biggest motivator but money is secondary in that case performance is first and performance comes through the skill development and that's why in sanskrita it is said sarvada vigyata vijaya that means skill always wins and this skill as a pharmacist what we are going to contribute for for saving the life nurturing the life protecting the life and extending the life i think this is the role and responsibility given to us by the super mighty and that's why we came to the pharmacy profession we are also the teachers and we have to inspire our students to contribute in actually these areas saving the life nurturing the life protecting the life and extending the life when the statistics says for the skill development i think this is uh, really uh, not a good figure for india in that case uh, in india it is said that only 3% formal skill is developed whether it is a school develop school education or a college education or a professional education or the university education with different programs the average they have taken 3% skill develop usa if you go with any universities or any program it is 52% if you go with the uk it is 60% if you go with the germany it is 75% if you go with the japan 80% but surprisingly south korea 96% skill develop with their programs whatever they deliver and that's why the mission is given by our government pradhan mantri kaushalya vikas yojana that we have to take this 3% to 10% in next 5 years that means that will be a substantial growth from 3% to 10% if you do that 10% 42 crores of people will be skilled in india in that case and out of 42 crores of people Two crores will belongs to the pharmacy profession, which pharmaceutical industry and the profession is looking for. And another aspect of the skill development, why it is important, my friend. 2020 average age of Indian person is 29 year. That is, it is a young India, right? That's the advantage with India, the young, enthusiastic, energetic India which we have today in 2020. In China, if it is called as manufacturing factory of the world, most of the products which are coming or imported are manufactured. in china develop in usa many time or uk or maybe europe but develop manufactured in china because of the facilities which they have and the quality and economy that is matched that's why it is the fact manufacturing factory of the world while india it is a human resources capital of the world raw capital of the world at present but if you develop the skill i think then the it will be the skill capital of the world and once it is a skill capital of the world the export of the skilled personnel will happen to many countries will export the people from the pharma to the pharma world in uk or europe or australia or japan or maybe to the us so you will get the better opportunity our students will get the better opportunities in that case and that's why skilling india is most important even the dcgi has actually circulated one notice to many pharmaceutical industries earlier that each and every person working in the pharmaceutical industry should be skilled one that means whatever the job he is doing he should be stamped with that skill and i think that is the requirement as far as the skilling india is considered and he pradhan mantri kaushalya vikas yojana has come out with many programs if you go to the site and uh, i think that will happen in that case so mission skill development in the pharma profession mission is the skill development in the pharma profession so that's why actually this lecture is conducted and when we talk about the skill i think the standards which we are actually facing that is the s stand for knowledge application that is a k stand for i stand for innovation and inventing the new things and air stand for love your job as well as the profession ultimately creating the legacy in that is that is the meaning of the skill that is the meaning of the skill okay so i think if you understood this message of the skill development then i think ultimately you are creating the skill 
skilled people are always respected and the rewarded so we have the standards in the pharma which we have to follow we have the knowledge application whatever our teachers are actually giving to the student then come out with some out of box actually idea innovating the new things maybe loving your job and the profession is most important if you really wanted to develop the skill and then creating the legacy on that line we identified almost 75 skills the basic skills which are required in the pharmacy student whether it is a manufacturing whether we talk about the development of the sops scps whether it is a vendor development whether it is a dmf filing drug master file filing or whether it is a common technical document or whether it is annual product review calibration attitude aptitude if you come to the research and development i think analytical method development is the most important topic which the skills are required in a big way if you come to the sales and marketing detailing is the highest skill which is required at any level in the medical representative as well as with the higher managers in the care the patient counseling is important drug drug interaction identification is important the data management is important pharmaco economics is important all these are the skills which we require in our student those who wanted to contribute in this profession and again in the teaching you know effective teaching communication skill skill to handle the machines and instruments and demonstrating effectively at par with the industry standard will be important for the pharma teaching so these are certain 65 basic skills our institute has identified and which we are promoting with the pharmacy colleges as well as the industries friends coming to the skill development in that case i think application part will come later but the technical skill is most important analytical skill is most important and the micro thinking skill which is required today which we have to promote in our pharmacy student one example which i wanted to quote here that the three friends which were actually on the picnic and they were actually enjoying one island and uh, they took one boat and went into the deep into the sea and suddenly they were not knowing what is the territory and other thing whether any limitation is there or not and suddenly what happened actually one aka that means the devil came out from that sea and he said all these friends that i will kill you you have entered my territory without my permission but i will give you one chance i will give you one opportunity and uh, that opportunity is that whatever you have you put it into this sea within 5 minutes i will bring it if i bring it actually i will kill one by one all of you so you can take your chance in that case there was a engineer who was a microsoft engineer he was having a microchip he said okay i will put that chip so that it will be difficult for aka to get it so he put that chip inside in the sea water and within 4 minutes the aka brought it and he said to the engineer your life has gone but let's wait what these two other people are doing second was a doctor he was having a micro stent he was a cardiac surgeon he put it that into the water and in 3 minutes aka brought it and he said doctor your life is also over although you are saving the life but today your life is in my hand because you lost actually this bet and the third one was our r&d pharmacist he was having a strip of tablet which he manufactured recently he put out he put out, he actually um, take out that tablet from the strip and put it into the sea water and you know what happened the aka is still finding out that actually tablet because the disintegration time is only 1 minute and in 1 minute it disintegrated aka could not brought it and that's why the life of doctor as well as the engineer that means his friends the pharmacist has saved friends actually to make the disintegration time 1 minute is the skill those who are looking for the r&d skill how we can inspire the student to come out with a 1 minute disintegration time with a good hardness of 5 kg to 6 kg is the skill which is required in the teacher to actually demonstrate that and that's why the micro thinking skill will be important along with the technical skill and the analytical skill what's going on what the market is looking for all these thing for example at present you know the nutraceutical products are actually in the boom many ayurvedic companies many nutraceutical companies coming in a big way and uh, the immunity builders actually they are promoting whatever even you eat the bread also it is a immunity builder what they are promoting in that case i think the pharmacist has to play the bigger role in that case that whether i can come out with certain strategies if you have the vitamin d if you have the other vitamins especially cyanocobalamin vitamin b12 vitamin c i think all these combinations if you have you can come out with a beautiful product 
and you can market it in the pharmaceutical profession in that case to contribute in a big way. And I think these are the skills. That's why the subject like pharmacognosy will be important for us to promote the immunity builder. And I think that we have to conduct the class as well as the practical on that line to convert the skill so that the students can come out with the neutrocytical product. This is the approach we should have in contribution. Many times, you know, the tea, which is required for all of us after one hour or two hour, the teachers are fond of the tea, but the meaning of the tea, according to me, is totally different. You know, the T stands for thinking big. Always think big as a teacher that what you can contribute. E, go for excellence, whatever you are doing. You are teaching microbiology, go for excellent microbiological, actually, lectures as well as the practical. Biotechnology, you can do the same thing. Zootics, you can do the same thing. Ecology, you can do the same thing. And A, miss attitude. You should have the positive attitude to contribute in big way, right? And that is the important aspect. The people say, even the person who was selling the tea can become the prime minister. But every tea person, every person making the tea and selling the tea cannot become the prime minister. For that, a lot of efforts are required. Hard work is required. Determination is required. And contribution is required. And that's why I remember this tea, that thinking big, going for excellence, and having the positive attitude in the life Whatever you do in your life, and as a teacher, you can actually adopt this, you can do the wonders. Jiyo itana ki jindagi kam pad jaye, haso itana ki rona mushkil ho jaye, kisi cheez ko paana to kismat ki baat hai, magar koshish itni karo ki ishwar dene ko majboor ho jaye. That should be the meaning of the tea in that case to contribute further. Another beautiful story which I wanted to tell you regarding the Sun Pharma. Why Sun Pharma is the number one pharmaceutical company of India with the 32,000 crores of revenue. We must know about Dilip Shangvi. Dilip Shangvi is the owner of the Sun Pharma, you know very well. Dilip Shangvi is not from the life science actually background. He's not BSc, MSc, biotech, or B pharmacy. He's a BCom person. While working with his father, doing the commerce actually at Calcutta, he was visiting his father's business, wholesale business, generic business. And he took the deep interest in that generic business, tried to understand the molecules, their name, their pricing, DPCO and other things. Then he took the interest, created a desire, and he started understanding the pharma in a good way. And then later, taking 10,000 rupees from his father after completing the BIFA, he said, I wanted to start my own pharmaceutical company. Story of 1981, I think. And father said, you are not a qualified person to do the pharmacy business. He said, no problem, but I am confident to do this business. I can appoint the technical qualified people on that line, but let me actually enter in this business. So permission was given by the father, giving 10,000 rupees, and he came out with the first product known as Lidosan, which is a lithium carbonate, right? Lithium carbonate, all of you know very well, especially the pharmacology people, that it is an antipsychotic product in that case. And Lithium carbonate was the first tablet which actually brought by the Sun Pharma with a brand name Lido Sun. Six months, Mr. Dilip Sangvi, loan license basis, not having their own company, getting it manufactured some other place. Six months, Dilip Sangvi, as well as his friend Pradeep Ghosh, both of them were medical representatives of their companies, and they were actually visiting the doctor. And the leading psychiatrist doctor was Mr. Dr. Nandi. Six months, continuous visit, Dr. Nandi never prescribed that. And after six months, looking to their perseverance as well as the hard work, Nandi opened out and he said, look, Mr. Uh, Dilip Shangvi and Pradeep Ghosh, I'm not prescribing your product, but still you are coming in again because there is a problem with lithium carburet. The drug level, I am unable to identify because many times it's shipped to the toxic level. That means from therapeutic level, when it should to the toxic level, because I am unable to identify the drug level in the blood, actually that's why I'm not prescribing the lithium carbonate. And during this six months, Dilip Sanvi was very much prepared for this actually answer for this question. He said, don't worry, sir. One Saxena lab is nearby. And we have actually made the arrangement of a refractometer. And that refractometer, actually, he can analyze the blood sample. And what we can do, sir, for your patients at economic rate, usually it is a 20 rupees, uh, 40 rupees. But for your patient, I will ask Saxena lab to charge 20 rupees. And he has made all the arrangement with Saxena Labs. Initially, Saxena Labs says, I don't have a refractometer. I cannot actually purchase it. It's very costly. But Dilip Sangvi said, okay, I will purchase through the bank for you, costing that time 10,000, 12,000 rupees. And actually, you can start actually this analysis. And he made the arrangement. He made the yellow card. 
yellow cards are given to Dr. Nandi and uh, he said, Doctor, please prescribe. Ours is also the quality product and we can measure the drug level also now at almost the economic cost. And appreciating this effort of Mr. Dilip Sangvi, Dr. Nandi started prescribing the Lidosan. The leading psychiatrist of Kalkata started prescribing actually the Lidosan. And due to that, other psychiatrists in Kalkata started in a big way and the product started developing, company started delivering. And in first year itself, it is said that 75,000 rupees of business actually the sun has made. Implementing the same strategy in other state also, making the refractometer available, telling the people, telling Dr. Nandi is prescribing and all these things happening. And Dr. Nandi said, the day will come, Mr. Dilip Sangvi, that you will lead the pharmaceutical world. And today, that is the truth, my friend, that Dilip Sangvi is the number one pharma person of India with a turnover of 32,000 crores. What we can learn from this? Technical knowledge is important. Application is important. Perseverance is important. Right communication is important. And getting the things happen is most important in that case to convince the people because product is always good. And many times, if you don't have all these qualities in your student, Many times the students say, no, Dr. Nandi is not prescribed. You can bring another product in the case. And that's why implementing all these things through this example will be the teaching lessons to the student. Maybe through the online again, we can demonstrate on this line. So remember that those who really wanted to make a legacy, I think all these skills will be important in the future. I'm really a lucky person, which I can say that I got the opportunity to not only meet and discuss with Mr. Dilip Sangvi, but I got the opportunity to pass on my presidentship of 69th Indian Pharmaceutical Congress to the next president, Mr. Dilip Sangvi, which was held in Delhi. That was the 69th Indian Pharmaceutical Congress. And during our discussion, many times he suggested that the skill development is most important. You can contribute in a big way on all this line, whether it is the pharmacy college or maybe the pharmaceutical industry. And let me tell you, my friend, one more thing regarding Mr. Dilip Sangvi. IPR is awarding the Outstanding Performance Award to every year to one industry person. In 2000, when I completed your STTP program in 2000, Varda, that time I was a senior lecturer, 2000, our IPR Institute have given the award, Outstanding Performance Award to Mr. Dilip Sangvi. And that time the rank was 84. I think the turnover was just 500 crore. That time, Dilip Sangvi actually asked me that, why you are giving to us? We are actually 84th company. But we said that our statistics says that you are going to lead one day as far as the pharmaceutical industry is considered. And what a great day in my life in 2017 that Dilip Sangvi became the number one pharmaceutical industry person of the year. And it is said that in 2017, for 15 days, the richest person of India was Dilip Sangvi, even beating Mukesh Ambali. 15 days. Later again, you know, the ranks are changed, but I'm really proud that the pharma person is the richest person. Not by money. I can say how many people he employed, how many products he brought, and how many people he's contributing for saving the life. I think more than 38,000 people are employed in Sun Pharma. More than 12,000 people are working in sales and marketing. And that is the contribution of Mr. Dilip Sangvi. So our objective is to develop many Dilip Sangvis through our student because the market is moving, demand is tremendous, potential is tremendous, and we have to actually inspire the student on this line by talking about these beautiful stories. When I, whenever I see the mankind advertisement, again, example of a mankind, which I always promote, Mr. Juneja, Ramesh Juneja, was a medical representative of Lokan. And after 10 years of experience, he started the mankind pharma. Today, I'm really happy that Amitabh Bachchan is advertising for the mankind. That means he can afford the Amitabh Bachchan to advertise the quality product of mankind pharma. But when I look for many advertisements and the post, I think certain skills they are emphasizing and that skills which we should actually take, whether it is a limbic, whether it is a panacea biotech, all these skills I think we have to generate in four years or six years in the pharmacy student. Even those who are interested in sales and marketing, many times the students are interested to go for the entrepreneurship. But real route, a successful route, route, fastest route to go for the entrepreneurship is through the sales and marketing. And for that, he has to work as a medical representative for two to three years. Many times you have to suggest this. Otherwise, students are reluctant to become the medical representative today. And we are not getting the good students who can contribute through the medical sales and marketing. 
See, this is the beautiful example. A foreigner came to Kashi, visited Vishwanath Temple, and brought a vibhuti package from one boy. And he asked a simple question. He was a foreigner, educated. What is the expiry date of this vibhuti? And uh, this person was not an educated person. You know, who is selling that vibhuti, Miss Basma? And uh, he, but he was having a common sense. What I mean to say, a micro thinking skill. He immediately replied that. Uh, this product will increase your expiry. I don't know about the expiry date of this product, but it will increase your expiry. That means your life will be actually enhanced and the quality of the life will be there. What a beautiful answer this person has given who is not educated. But a pharma person who knows about all these ash values, other, otherwise basmas and other things, he can come out with a technical answer for that. What is the expiry date, accelerated stability studies and whatever we do in our pharmaceutics. I think you can be a best techno marketing person in that case to contribute in the big way because many street smart persons are doing the great job in the marketing. Why not you in that case? That is incredible India. Friends, successful people who started as medical representative and went on to become the managing directors by starting their own company. I have the best example in front of me is my student. And he is Mr. Pritish Thoras. Completed the BFA maybe 20 years back. Analyzing his personality, we suggested him that why don't you should go for sales and marketing. And initially he was reluctant, but he was having a good communication skill. And then he took the job in Nicholas Peramal, became the medical representative. And then later he rise to the position of product manager, group product manager, uh, marketing manager, new pain, and again a vice president marketing of Mylan Pharma. And after taking X, he launched Mylan products in India. That is the biggest contribution with a good salary package and everything. But he said enough is enough. And now I should start my own pharmaceutical company. Four years back, he started Koyo Pharma. And today Koyo Pharma in ORG is the leading pharmaceutical company, my friend. And it is having the 84th rank. Today, more than 1,200 people he employed in sales and marketing. He gets the manufacturing done through the outsourcing. That means getting the manufacturing done from other pharmaceutical companies and marketing his product. And it's a fastest leading pharmaceutical company. And we have been also uh, fortunate that he has accepted our award in 2019 at the Outstanding Performance Award. So what I mean to say that your student, many times people say, where are your examples? You are talking about Dilip Sangvi's example. You are talking about uh, uh, this uh, Raju Juneja's example. I have the example of my students in that case. And that's why I'm saying that you can also develop such student who can contribute in a big way. Today, he has employed 1,200 people and having a turnover of 400 to 500 crore is the biggest contribution. And he may be the future in that case in the pharmacy profession. And for that, we promote the detailing skill. Detailing skill is a beautiful skill. And what we do in that case, that actual visual aid of a pharmaceutical company, we give to the student. Recently, last year only, we promoted this program in Senior Institute. And one of the student has done the beautiful detailing of uh, one of the pharmaceutical product of one of the pharmaceutical companies. Just I wanted to show you that but how the detailing practice is conducted. Uh, I got an opportunity to talk to our chemist, Mr. Suhas, downstairs. And uh, he informed me that you have been using uh, you are getting calcium sound and video. tablets for calcium supplement. And I was very happy that it's a good brand. But uh, when I asked about the price, he said it's 300 rupees for only 30 tablets. And I was surprised because uh, by the coming, judging into locality, it's a good you are getting the sound and there. video. So if you prescribe it can be a cost yes, of tablet, which is only yes, 5.5 okay. rupees, uh, I think uh, your patient would very much appreciate that. So tablet with Kel, common men's and common calcium. And Hello. Uh, yes. Sir, only sound was coming. Okay, okay, just I will check again. Minerals. As you know, body requires now coming, other minerals like magnesium, calcium, boron, and zinc for formation of bones. 
this is our product it's a game tablet all and uh, more what it comes with a very cost effective rate only 5.5 rupees per tablet so when i was coming here uh, i got an opportunity to talk to our chemist mr suhas downstairs and uh, he informed me that you have been using uh, calcium orotet tablets for calcium supplement and i was very happy that is a good brand but uh, when i asked about the price he said it's 300 rupees for only 30 tablets and i was surprised because uh, by the coming judging at the locality it's very middle class people live around here so if you prescribe it can be a cost effective tablet which is only 5.5 rupees uh, i think uh, your patient would very much appreciate that so tablet it can common men's and common calcium okay that was the example uh, now you are back with uh, our original slides okay you are getting na sagupta yes sir yes sir yeah so this was the demonstration which we have made with actual visual aid of a pharmaceutical company and uh, you know the jobs are plenty offered to such candidate who can actually demonstrate such type of skill so what i mean to say that you choose your own area or your student what he is liking for and develop certain skill which is uh, the industry is looking for uh, even as i told you that uh, the training is given to the fdac officers and uh, mr vijay shah told us that doctor you have to contribute in big way to the pharmacy student especially for the gmp concept uh, development of the skill which is the required you know gujarat is a big belt today more than 200 new companies started in last two years and i think they are looking for many b pharm and m pharm students to take the role and responsibilities in the pharmacy industry many plants are us fda approved plants as well as the mhi so some of the actual skills which we demonstrated is the hardness of the tablet you know it's a practical aspect every pharmacy pharmacy college is having the hardness tester as well as all this equipment what we have done in one of the college that is hgm college of pharmacy chitradurga that we brought a, a calpol tablet which is a glaxo tablet you know prosim but calpol is also the brand of glaxo and a parasip that is the cipla and parasmal which is a generic tablet and we have given actually uh, the experiment to the student that they can titrate this performance and uh, compare the cost compare the hardness compare the disintegration time compare the fragility and this is a beautiful demonstration in that case one of the student uh, which has actually Hi. so what i mean to say ki uh, see after certain time they will measure the hardness and everything but that particular hardness if it is a calpol if it is a 7 kg hardness how to bring that 7 kg is the real r and d skill which is required and can our pharmaceutics people can keep that mission that can you give 7 kg hardness with a disintegration time of 1 or 2 minutes that will be the real skill which industry is looking for so what i mean to say that i uh, start applying your knowledge demonstrate that skill and uh, you can give the best students even in the r and d as well as the product development or maybe in the production in that case so give me the good teachers i will give you the best country said by acharya chanakya 
you can be the best teacher for the pharmacy profession in that case who is contributing on that line and this is the story which inspires me actually all of you know very well a teacher how he can actually converted himself to a businessman great businessman today b mechanical mr baiju ravindran multinational company he got the job in bangalore and one sunday actually he went uh, to meet his friends give those friends were giving the cat examination especially for mba admission and uh, one problem they got stuck their friends especially the maths and this person was very good in the maths and application of the other subjects also so he has actually demonstrated them how they can simplify the actually any question in the maths to the solution and they much so much convinced and got satisfied that they said why don't you actually conduct our classes of the cat and if we got the admission we'll give you the money otherwise we'll not give the money this is a friendship actually discount which you can give it to us and this friend accepted this challenge and actually conducted the classes for them and all these three people got the uh, clear through the cat got the good admissions uh, good institutes of mba and then later this friend suggested him that why don't you start a tuition leave that job of multinational company that time he was getting a salary of 50000 rupees that was the story of 2000 and uh, he said uh, he just actually thought on this line that can i do something in the tuition in teaching and then he left the job he started the tuition class with 30 student because the students these three students his customer they brought the students in that case that uh, he is the very good actually coaching person for this cat and that's why he brought it from the bangalore the classroom was hired 30 students were there and he started teaching to them all 30 students got clear their exam they also got the good actually uh, ranking as well as the institutes then because of his popularity in bangalore then he actually hired the hall for 100 student then hired the auditorium for the 500 student because the influx was more and ultimately he started demonstrating in the actually stadiums he was going to the stadium to stadium in different state with 5000 students coaching and then he thought that how many days i can travel like that rather than that i should come out with the online coaching that time he thought today we are doing that think and learn private limited he brought and he came out with the app and with that app actually he demonstrated that how the teaching can be simplified how actually the counseling can be done in the most effective way and today it is a world largest edutech company and that is byju have today actually you know all of us that ipl is sponsored by byju a teacher and what is the age of byju today it is just 40 years he is in the first 100 richest person of india can you imagine that means what is this skill this is the application of the knowledge this is the communication skill this is again the convincing skill by making the things simple i think what is our role as a teacher convincing the things technical things by making them simple is our role and those who can do that you can be the byju's in the pharmacy profession in the future now online coaching all of us started very well i think you develop on that line you come out with your own app in the future and contribute like byju in that case you will get opportunity today he can hire shahrukh khan can you imagine that means i think this is the biggest contribution money is secondary money is earning in a big way but the see the contribution of the skill development which is making by convincing and making the things simple i think that is our role technical knowledge hard work passion and confidence always contribute on that friends altitude in pharmacy profession this is the picture all of you can see many of you must be recognizing all these people one of the photograph is uh, the principal of ipr vartha here and that is dr pramod yevle today is the vice chancellor of dr baba saheb ambedkar university that is uh, at aurangabad but many of them many of them are my gurus dr ramesh goel dr shivaji rao kadam dr chandrakant kokate was my guru my colleague professor b suresh vice chancellor earlier of jss university today pro chancellor and again the president pharmacy council of india dr shailendra sarath so many of them all of them were the teachers but today they were having the attitude to reach to the topmost position in the pharmaceutical teaching that all of them have are today the vice chancellor and let me tell you my friend that all of you as a teacher will get the opportunity in the future to become a vice chancellor because there are many universities which are coming up if your bodyta is strong if you develop the skill if you develop the good student and start contributing on that line i think one day you can be also the vice chancellor you can be also the president pharmacy council of india but i am really proud of this man 
He is a teacher. The only pharmacy teacher so far in India got the Padma Shri Award. He is a person from Punjab University Technical Doctor Har Kishan Singh, a chemistry professor. Because of his contribution, he established the NIPER. That is the biggest contribution. Not only that, history of pharmacy profession in India. He has written with a continuous effort, and I think the meticulous work which he has done, and the way I think he has contributed for that department and the chemistry. I think he is the recipient of Padma Shri Award. Last year only received. He is no more. He died. But he has created a legacy, and I think this is the inspiration which all of us should have to create a legacy when we are taking the job as a pharmacy teacher. Even pharmacy teacher can get the Padma Shri Award in that case. Friends, IPR. Our names are similar. It is IPR Varda, and ours is IPR, which is contributing for the skill development. But our objective is same: to develop the competent. and the complete pharmacies we have many programs which we are actually running across india as well as the globe they are available through correspondence mode online mode as well as also through the um, part time mode especially for the 30 students if you have we have the center we have the program for pharma marketing almost six program pharma manufacturing almost six to seven program quality assurance regulatory we have almost six to seven program even healthcare we have four to five program and advantage is that the students can do this program by doing the dpharm bpharm and mpharm if 30 students from any college is there we have the center today we have 50 colleges having the mou with us four universities we have the mou with us and we are contributing in the big big way and basically the most important skill which we should have is the love for the pharmacy profession which will bring the wealth as well as the success to us so if you love the pharmacy profession A lot of things can happen. One of our friend from one of the pharmaceutical company came out with a beautiful, actually, video which I wanted to demonstrate. Dear friends, namaste. Hope all of you are well. We have all passed through very difficult times, and still are passing through these COVID-19 times. During these difficult times, all the pharma workforce and fertility. Are reaching the patients worldwide. As part of our uh, Ideal Cure Smile initiative, last four months we are trying to bring smile to the to your faces. And this particular song which we are presenting now has been prepared specially for Pharma Fraternity to convey our gratitude, thanks, and as a tribute. from ideal cure smile initiative enjoy this song pass it on to your friends relatives and your pharma colleagues to be part of this thanksgiving opportunity to pharma workforce nikal pada hai par हर बीमारी की दवा है फार्मेसी में बेबी संभल के संभल के चलो ना जान धोकर पीछे पड़ा है ये करो ना अरे कोशिश है फार्मा के लोगों की बनाते हैं दवाई लोगों के रोगों की कोविड वॉरियर से भी ये कम नहीं ये है तो फिर हमें कोई गम नहीं निकल पड़ा है फार्मा लेकर अपना कारवा जान बचाता है लोगों की नोबल इसके करमा निकल पड़ा है फार्मा लेकर अपना कारवा जान बचाता है लोगों की नोबल इसके करमा ये फार्मा जान बचाता है लोगों की नोबल इसके इंस्टा कोट से कोटिंग है इसकी प्योर इसकी गारंटी देता है आइडियल क्योर्स आयुर्वेदा में और एलोपैथी में भी काम करती है कोटिंग सिंपैथी में भी अरे फार्मा में जो भी जॉब करते हैं हाथ जोड़ के नमन उन्हें करते हैं एंटीबायोटिक हो या प्रोबायोटिक करो ठीक 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 निकल पड़ा है फार्मा लेकर अपना कारवा जान बचाता है लोगों की नोबल इसके कर्मा निकल पड़ा है 
लेकर अपना काम जान बचाता है लोगों की नोबल इसके कर्म निकल पड़ा है पाम लेकर अपना काम जान बचाता है लोगों की नोबल इसके कर्म friends uh, just to go through the ipr celebrations and achievement as suggested by shagupta we have been awarded by uh, asian pharma leader as a not only the institute but consultancy as well as the training institute for the development of the skill we have the big collaboration with wakart for the skill development more than 300 people or employees actually sponsored for our programs and the statement which is made by abhijit jain but what we observed what they observed that associate feel supported and inspired at work through learning and become a more actually positive ipr played a very vital role in this for the wakart to become the organization to grow further ipr boost engagement of the associate to learn and stay with organization by developing the skill we have collaboration with one of the leading laboratories for the development of the skills especially in the analytical actually sector for the validation sops documentation under the mark laboratories today we have the association especially with the bhat university for the development of the skill last year we collaborated with sandeep university nasik for the development of the skill mp satna that is aks university satna we have the collaboration then uh, even recently the glenmark person who underwent our program three program quality control regulatory as well as Uh, active pharmaceutical ingredient manufacturing he said thanks dr burante these courses have been very helpful for me to understand the daily issues that we encounter and solve this this has helped me to run the business i already started promoting ipr to the people who are interested ajay kumar singh who completed our quality control program long back is a bsc person today said that i am a general manager qc of alchem lab us fd approval plant 600 people are working under me at that time my salary was 5000 and today it is coming especially in lakhs per month and the big contribution today which ipr has done in my life we are having almost 100 one day programs for the contribution for the skill development and all over india which we are doing that job and i think this uh, challenge which we have accepted for the skill development it will be a continuous affair in the future it's not only dr burande along with me more than 200 people are there from the farms industry which we are working together to the contribution of the skill development thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to actually enlighten you for the skill development and if any question is there from your mind i think the session is open for you in that case dear participants the session is open for question and answer <laughs> so i express my sense of gratitude to you sir okay. for your wonderful explanation on art of teaching your talk was full of knowledge you indeed gave deep insights into the topic and your explanation about quality enhancement and skill development with examples will definitely help all of us and once again on behalf of the institute of pharmaceutical education and research and on my own behalf i thank you sir for taking out time from your busy schedule and enlightening us it was indeed a pleasure to share a moment with your esteemed personality thank you very much sir for being with us today
Thank you. Thank you, Shagupta. And I am also thankful to all the IPR management as well as Dr. Ganjiwale, Dr. Purani, and especially you for organizing this program and conducting it successfully. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Have a great day. All the participants to fill yeah. the feedback form. Which shall, is I leave, shall I leave now? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you, Shagupta. Thank you, sir. So all the participants are requested to fill the feedback form and also the MCQs on the topic delivered by Dr. Bunande today. So you have to complete it by two o'clock and we will again resume here for the next great lecture at two o'clock sharp. Uh, you are requested to join by 1.50 p.m. and using the same link, same uh, ID and password. So thank you very much, all of you, to be present with us here today for the first session.